Bridge. The tire wall? Fuck yeah, there's tire balls I know. there. I just, come, I just come from there. How you doing, sir? What's up? I'm pissed. I hate these fuckers. <laughs> John Bowling Ball? Are you a resident here? I live right there. You live right over there? Yep. And these sons of bitches didn't so much as even contact me. So well, we're going to be working in your backyard 24 hours a day. The dog's going nuts just like your dog's going nuts now. So I dog, even in the house, you know. So what, do you, what do you want Embridge to know? I want them to know that I'm pissed at them because they didn't notify nobody they're going to be back here working. Nobody. They haven't said nothing to anybody. They come knock on my door as a courtesy and say, hey, we're going to be working in your backyard. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm just a renter. I've been here 13 years. You know, for 13 years I've rented. You know, they gave everybody on that street, except for me, because I'm a renter, they gave them all a nuisance ship between 5,800 and 10 grand. Well, I ain't got the, any rule, dime. the rule is the landowner gets half and the and the renter gets half. Well, That's my what, landlord didn't give me jack shit, so well, I had to beat his ass too, then I guess. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, I move it up. So, move it up. so, do you see the oil back there? Oh, yeah. It's, it's right back where the storm drain goes into the mouth or goes into the river. There's tar balls. You can go, go down there and look. There's tar balls. Walk along, right along the side here. There's a path. You see my footprints. Take you down to the river and look at it. There ain't no oil run off in the goddamn road. I was say, yes, sir. They're bullshitting you. No, I'm talking about what they, when the first mount come, there was a bunch of nasty brown shit coming right out of the storm drain. Oh, well. But the fire department, tar. no, that was out here for that. Yeah. They yeah. Got well, that there's tar there. down here. I mean, like yeah, I said, there's tar, tar balls. Exactly. And what they're hiding from the public is, you know, it's ridiculous. I've been trying to tell everybody for the last four months. I used to work for them, and I got fired when I complained. Yep. They were telling us to cover up oil, and um, I just couldn't sit back. I live here. I lived on the river, and yep. I can't let well, that happen. I, you know, I rent here because, because I got the river. You know, before Dwayne moved here, I, I used to come back here on a daily basis, walking my dog, you know. A dog likes to swim in this little creek. I don't let him in there now. That's all I heard. Wow! You know, you do is, you know, these airboats, these jet boats, and that shit gets on your nerves after a while. Like I said, I don't mind going to a mud bog for a Sunday afternoon and listen to it for a day, but for yeah. months at a time. Man. Right. And then you don't even get compensated? That's exactly. It's not right. They don't even knock on my door. That's what's you didn't know, this they don't even knock on my that door. Tar balls, man. Right? Oh, yeah. It, the whole place is full. And, you know, Look up, look at the murky crap over there. So they dammed this part of the river off then? Is that what they did? Oh, they dammed that off, pumped all the water from here up to the other end of that island. Oh, yeah. And then dug it all out. Dug and and why did they do that? Because the oil that settled in there. And they didn't come clean it up the first time? No. They didn't clean none of it up. Even the oil that was on my property until about the fourth time we get them down here. They so, came down and took the vegetation, didn't take the oil. And I, call, I called them complaining again. They came up and they like took a little bit of off top, kicked dirt over it, stomped it, called that good. And then uh, complained again. They said it was cleaned up. And then they came out and took video of it, took it down to them. And then at that point, they came down and did all this. So it took you four yeah, times. This is my backyard after they said they cleaned it up. Look at that. Isn't that just wonderful? That don't exist. Ah, what is that? That's the oil back there. I know, but it's just, ugh. Wow. So that whole area back there was like that. They said that they did. Down there, I had to threaten them with Channel 8, getting them down there in the office and a lawyer in order to get them out here. Because they kept saying it was all cleaned up. And I told them, well, let's get the news down here. I want you to stay in front of the camera. My oil's cleaned up, and then we're going to my property. And uh, that's when this got done. So, I mean, it's seriously. It's threatening them with cameras. From the news. After four times, it still took threatening them with the news and lawyers. Wow. And they still tell my neighbors to deal with it. If you can afford to sue us, go for it. <laughs> and who is saying that? Embridge. That's Embridge representatives themselves saying that. That's straight from Embridge. Okay, so what did they do here? They dammed it off there. And then down there, you can still see part of the dam where they dammed it off. So they dammed it there. Yep. And then dammed they dammed it, dammed it right there. there where that... Where yep. the black is right there. Straight across the, the couple oh. trees. And then they dug from there the entire thing. They dug this entire thing out. 60 dump truck fulls of dirt at least. And then this is where they dam the other side right here. Water starts. And how? She said about, about 200. She's figuring right around 200. 200 dump trucks full of oil mixed with mud. 
Wow. Yep. My 60, that's, that's only over from over talk, 5 to 8 from when I got home to 8 o'clock. That's so when months. you were saying 60 before, that was just that's what you number. saw, and that's after you got out of work. That's after I get out of work. That's not why I'm at work. And they tried to say there was no oil here. Boy, this has happened many a times. I've proved uh, at a lot of spots there's a lot of oil, and, and they say it's not there. And then, of course, I prove it with my videos and show the public, go to the press. Once the press gets involved, they come clean it up. Um, but it's it's wrong that someone has to force them to do what they're supposed to exactly. do. That's the EPA's job, and they're not. We're, we pay taxes for that, and EPA is letting us down. Do you think the EPA has let us down? I think so. Yeah. yeah no doubt in my mind. Trying to cover everything up because I know for I don't know for a fact it wasn't during the conversation, but when they told me it was cleaned up, and they told me that as long as it's less than a meter long, they didn't have to clean the oil up. Bullshit. And I was like, <laughs> it's fucking oil. And it's more than a meter. It's a meter wide. But it's looks like more than a meter, don't it? Yeah, from where that was to over here, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I mean, and they didn't even get the other side way over there, everybody. I mean, we're right downtown, people. Do you see, can you see the towers straight ahead where my finger is? That's downtown right there. That's how close we are to... Um, the city. We're inside the city limits right now. From appraisal, came back first one at 71000 All right. I knew for a fact that was way off because of, you know, me purchasing the house. So I paid for an appraisal and it came back at one thirty. Okay. And then I went down there and made a point of that. And then they said, well, we'll pay for another one. And I was like, yeah, and I'm sure it's going to come back about the same. And it did, 77000 And then I was like, okay, now you're telling me there's no favoritism here in the appraisal. Right. And uh, they said, well, you can take ours or not. We're not paying your appraisal. So Even though it was a licensed appraiser, local appraiser, and every house that was used on my appraiser was local or appraisal. The houses on their appraisal were Battle Creek, because I'm in Lakeview here. All right. This is Lakeview Schools, Lakeview everything. Everything they compared my house with was Bedford, uh, Battle Creek Public Schools. Yeah, you can't. Lake. They didn't even use Harper Creek or Penfield or... <clears throat> or Hastings School, so even though one of them was out in Bedford Township. Um, what what he's trying to say, people, is Lakeview has a, a higher living. Um, the houses are worth more than what they are in the other areas. So when they're getting appraised at Battle Creek prices instead of Lakeview prices, that's why when he had his appraiser or the local um, Battle Creek Lakeview appraiser do it, at, and it was 130000 Enbridge is doing it. So this home buyout, let me let, let, let you understand what this buyout is. They said they were going to buy these homes. They only want to buy the homes to save money. This is why. If you own a home and you have a lawsuit and you go after Enbridge because the oil is on your property, then let's say you get $150,000 because your, your land is contaminated. So that's one hundred and fifty dollars plus that is in your pocket and you still keep your home. Well, what they do is they buy the home as cheap as possible. They get the appraisers to do cheap um, appraises, appraisals. And so let's say they buy his house for $77,000. Now he cannot sue saying you left my land contaminated and you owe me. So he'll get a convenience fee for a few thousand dollars and he'll get the 77,000. So they will have spent under 100000 for what they have done, and then they sell the house, and they make their money back. So in this situation, they don't lose no money. But if they don't buy the house and they sue, they lose a lot of money. So that's why they buy the houses. They do not do it for um, the convenience of helping the resident. They do it to protect their pocketbooks. That's all this is, people. This is corporate big business, big money, and they're just trying to save and uh, keep their stockholders um, in the process. I, uh, I put uh, videos on YouTube so people can see what's going on with Enbridge and different things. Um, are you a resident here? Yes, I live right there. And so what do you feel about all this? A bunch of crap, really. <laughs> what, did, what did Enbridge say to you? Did, they, did you get an inconvenience fee for them coming back here? No. They said they couldn't do anything for me because I moved too far away from the river. That don't make any sense. Exactly. They said that um, 
This is the public access, and I live too far away from the river, and the only thing they would do is reimburse the pair of tennis shoes that I had to buy for my son if I found the receipt. Wow. Never mind the being awake. What about inconvenience fee for them driving by here and, and all the dump trucks and all the lights? They said there was nothing they could do. Wow. Absolutely nothing. And I've talked to three different people on that. Well, I have a feeling you might get something in the future. Yeah, they said that it was uh, public access, so I could not complain about it. And I live 700 feet away from the river, and it wasn't their problem. They ba they actually said to me, quote unquote, deal with it. See, they don't really care about people. They no. just care about the oil. No. Right. But my front lawn is no grass underneath the snow now. Because of them. Well, yeah, because of them, because I had to pull through my yard and over curbs just to get parked in my home. Did they ever give you a hard time about parking up in here? They just wouldn't move. They parked wherever they wanted, and they knew I lived there, but they just stayed there. So, what do you feel about Enbridge? What do you feel about the way they've uh, cleaned up the oil? I feel like it's a big cover-up, and I feel like that they should fix the problem, and they should fix the people, or help the people they disturbed, and they don't want to. They just want to cover it all up and put it underneath the bridge, you know, and be like, nothing else. Yeah, I've been trying to tell people for months about this, and uh, um, now people are starting to come forward, and, and I'm starting to get a lot of video of residents that are complaining, and, and so people around the country now are seeing what Enbridge is doing to them. And uh, the problem is there, there's a lot of pipe that's bad in this country uh, that Enbridge owns, and it could break at any time. And so if it happens again here or somewhere else, we got to protect them and us by um, letting everybody know what Enbridge is doing, uh, the EPA is doing, and um, some of these other companies like BP that has BP oil going through this Enbridge pipe. Wow. Yeah, so BP is part owner of Enbridge. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. They try to keep it uh, under wraps. Yeah. Yes, because like my bedroom window is right here on the back, and they had those yeah, spotlights yep, that's the one. back here, stadium spotlights. I put black blankets up on my windows, and it's still, I couldn't sleep because it was so bright. Well, I didn't even need to turn on a light in my house. So now it's going to cost you out of your pocket to pay to get anxiety medicine for your dog. Yeah. Because now, since this has happened, your dog won't stop shaking. No, he just shakes all the time, hides all the time. Noise makes him just go nuts. So, and it's just, you know. Uh, it's <laughs> a groundhog. A groundhog is in the tree. Yep, it's the first one I've ever seen climb a tree. That, that's Why do you think it's in the tree? <laughs> I could only think to get away from it. <laughs>